The Colomba Pasquale or Colomba di Pasqua is a traditional Easter cake eaten in Italy shaped quite specifically like a dove. Now there are many stories as to why it's shaped like a dove but let's just accept that it is. And so for this tutorial I'm going to be making the Colomba in a dove shaped pan. These are relatively easy to find online. I ordered mine from a bread specialist online shop that sent it to me. If you can't get hold of them, you can also just bake it in a regular round tin too. This dough makes about a kilo's sized Colomba. Colombas aren't difficult, but they do take a bit of time to make. And so you'll need to start your Colomba the day before you actually bake it to create the bigger or the sponge. This is made with flour, yeast and water. It's left for 16 hours and then creates this lovely pre-fermented bubbly dough. So it really is pretty simple. It all just goes into the mixer. So I am using strong bread flour, which is going into an electric mixer with a dough hook. And I am then adding my sugar to that. For this recipe, I'm using fresh yeast because I just like to use fresh yeast, but you can also use dried yeast too. That's absolutely no problem. If you're using the fresh yeast, just crumble that straight in. And then when you add the salt, make sure that you put that on the opposite side of the bowl until you've put everything in there so that the salt doesn't start killing the yeast essentially. Into that dough, we're gonna fragrance it with some lemon zest and some orange zest. The orange and almond flavor is what really characterizes a Colomba. So these zests are important and you also want to add some vanilla. If you live in Italy, you can find something called Vanalina, I totally pronounced that wrong, but it's a powdered vanilla, but I can't get that in the UK, so I have just used vanilla essence. We're using three eggs, one whole egg, and then we're gonna separate the other two eggs. We're gonna reserve the egg whites for the topping, but the two egg yolks will go into our dough. So one whole egg and two egg yolks. And we're gonna put that into a jug. And into that jug, we're gonna add some whole milk, which is at room temperature, and our vanilla. We're gonna put the mixer on, starting slowly. And then I'm going to add in my bigger and also my liquid ingredients. And I'm going to start combining that slowly with the dough hook. I'm going to knead that on the machine for five to 10 minutes. And you'll see that the longer it works, the more elastic the dough will become. And once it's silky and smooth at this point, I'm going to add my butter. It's really important that this is at room temperature so that it eases its way into that dough nice and easily. And you can just see I'm adding it bit by bit. And then I'm just going to carry on kneading that for an extra five minutes or so. And then finally, I'm gonna add my fruit. I have candied orange peel and sultanas, but you could just double up and have all candied peel, or if you're like my kids, you could swap the sultanas for chocolate chips. But the traditional Colomba is made with these two, with these two fruits. So I'm gonna add that in now. Some recipes will call you, will call for you to add them in the second proof, but to be honest, I've tried both ways and this works just as well. So I'm gonna carry on kneading it. I'm gonna give it another five minutes or so, and you can see, how lovely and silky and stretchy that dough is. It, it's like it has a life of its own at this point. And I'm gonna just turn that out and put it into an oiled bowl. You're going to cover it in cling film or a damp cloth and you are gonna leave it to rise now. This can take three, four, maybe even five hours, depending on the temperature in your room. So be patient, it will rise. And when it rises, it will look like this, ta-da. So all that air is really lovely and, and poofy. I'm gonna turn that out slightly, just going to flatten it ever so slightly. You can see the oil from the inside of the bowl and that's helping me manipulate it without having to add any extra flour. 
back to my Colombo case and how you fill the Colombo case, well, it's a matter for debate really. <laughs> I do mine in three sections. You could do it in two sections or you could do it in lots of little sections. But essentially you want to put a piece that runs down the middle, the spine of the bird, of the Colomba. And then I've just created two rough balls which I've put on either on either side. I'm not overhandling it. I want to keep all that, that air in there. And once all of the dough is in your Colomba case, you want to cover it with some greased cling film so it doesn't stick. And you're going to leave it for its second prove, which will probably take about an hour. And when you're ready, when it's risen, you're going to prepare the topping. This is what characterises the Colomba. This is, in fact, it's actually my favourite bit. It's a crunchy topping made from whisk egg whites remember those two egg whites we had then we are going to add in 25 grams of ground almonds and the same of caster sugar and we're going to combine that all together in this lovely white frothy topping which you're then going to gently brush over the top of your risen dough you can see it's had its second rise it's now risen i don't want it spilling out over the top of the of the pan though, because it's gonna rise even more in the oven. So take your time and generously cover the top of that really fragrant rich dough with that lovely almond topping. And once all of that is on there, you're then going to add the finale. You're going to add a sprinkle of pearled sugar or nibbed sugar. Again, you can find this from specialist stores. It's the kind of thing that you find on traditional buns really, and then some almonds. Some people use skinned almonds, some people use flaked almonds. I like to just go pretty basic and have the classic whole almond. There's my nibbed sugar going on top. Then it's ready to bake into the oven at 180 fan, 200 electric for 40 to 45 minutes. And please cover it with a bit of foil if it's beginning to brown. And there we go. There is the Colomba, and it is, if you've never tried to make it, it's similar, I suppose, to a hot cross bun. It's very close to its Christmas cousin, the panettone, but as I say, characterised by this lovely crunchy top. That biga has given us a lovely, light, open structure and a, quite a complex taste. It is the most delicious thing to have with some melted chocolate and a shot of espresso or even dunked into a glass of dessert wine. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, guys. For lots more, you can find us over at the Academy and please sign up to the YouTube channel for more tutorials. See you later. Bye.